Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Thomas Rask and I'm a landscape photographer from Sweden. And in this video I will be camping right in this spot, just 50 meters away from the sea. And hopefully I will be doing some seascape landscape photography in just a few hours. And just hiking here, I had to rush because I had a thunderstorm on my tail. <laughs> so I rushed here and I managed to get my camp up before the rain hit. And I'm not really in the clear for bad weather just yet. We will see what, what the weather will be like, but for now it looks fine. So yeah, some seascape landscape photography. And uh, if you have been following me for a while, I also have a surprise in this video. I will get into that later. But for now, let's go and see what we can find. You can see the thunderstorm behind me here and I'm still a little bit worried that it's coming this way but for now I'm fine and I can focus on some photography. And I found these, I'm not really sure what they are called but let's call them beach rocks. These flat beach rocks with pools of water, it looks really really nice. So I'm definitely gonna see if I can find a composition here. And the light is still very harsh. So I will probably do some black and white photography for now. I mentioned that I had something new to share with you in this video, a surprise. And here it is, <laughs> a new lens. And what kind of lens is it? Well, let me give you a hint. This is 24 millimeters. And what's happening right now? I'm zooming out all the way to 14 millimeters. That's right, I purchased a wide angle lens. I'm using the Nikon Z system, so this is the 14 to 30 zoom lens. And this is the first photo shoot that I'm out with the lens, so it's all new to me. I'm not familiar with the image quality or anything, so this is really exciting for me. So why did I decide to go for this lens and not the 14 to 24? Because I actually had the money for the 14 to 24. So for me it was more about the size and weight and the fact that I could use my regular filters. This is a 5 stop variable and the filter at 95 millimeters. So I'm using a step up ring from 82 millimeters. So hopefully this lens is a really really good match for me. Now I'm just really eager to see the image quality and hopefully it lives up to my expectations. If it's good enough for Thomas Eaton's it's probably good enough for me. And yeah. Enough of, of this lens for now, I'm just going to focus on taking some pictures. And right away I came across a challenge that I haven't had to deal with in a long time because in the last couple of years or so I've only used a 24mm lens. That has been my widest lens. But now I'm at 40mm and my shadow is always in the, in the shot. So I'm going to have to wait until the sun gets behind some clouds. While I was waiting for that to happen, I studied the storm clouds that was drifting out to sea. I captured this very minimalistic photo of an impressive storm cloud. I also kept my eyes on a sailboat that slowly was getting closer to me. When the sun got lower in the sky and partly was blocked behind some clouds, I was ready to take the shot I had been waiting for.
absolutely breathtaking evening. We are about one and a half hour before sunset and the sea is really calm and there are some birds in the air so making some sounds. And I love the colors, really subtle, soft colors. Hopefully I can get a shot here. So I'm grabbing some shots of this narrow peninsula, handheld with my 14 to 30. Ah, oh, absolutely beautiful. Handheld, 180th of a second. Beautiful light. Absolutely fantastic. That was a really fun first photo shoot with my 14 to 30 zoom lens. And now it's getting darker and darker and losing all the light. So I'm gonna try and get some sleep because I'm gonna get up really early tomorrow at sunrise. So maybe if I'm lucky I get four hours of sleep. So see you tomorrow. Just one thing that I've learned, hopefully, is to not run around like a headless chicken during a sunrise or a sunset. You should most of the time have your compositions and location already in mind for a sunset or a sunrise shoot. So I'm at the same pools and flat uh, rocks as yesterday. And the sunrise is in 20 minutes, so Let's see what the light reveals. It's going to be really interesting, I think. The colors are often most saturated before the sunrise. And right now we are like 10 minutes before sunrise and it's not really kicking off. So I'm going to have to be patient and see what happens. The sunrise and all of its beautiful colors did, just a few minutes later, truly emerge. Just as the sun rose over the horizon, I set up my camera very close to the level of the sea. At 14 mm with a 10 stop ND filter and a 30 second long exposure, I captured the amazing sunrise. That was a really fun early morning photo shoot. So I'm done here, <laughs> but I'm gonna go and have a look at something else. I'm just gonna go and break camp, put everything back in my big uh, backpack and go and have a look at something else. So yeah, let's keep going. Go and have a look at something else. <laughs> that was a little bit too optimistic. I'm super tired. I only slept maybe three hours this night, so I'm really tired. But I'm really happy with the photo shoot that I had last night and this morning. I think I got some really nice images. So I'm really happy with this, this camping trip. And also I've gotten a new member since my last video, Mike from Canada. <laughs> Much appreciated, Mike. I really enjoy our chats in the comments. So yeah, 
much appreciated. And as always, I appreciate all of you watching this video and give the video a thumbs up if you like it. So yeah, I see you in the next video. Bye for now.